this is a real human. There's a LinkedIn profile. My friend Ron Williams is a mutual connection. Tiago Forte right there at the top. Great. I'm not sure who that is. The second one. Oh, that page doesn't exist. Okay, so we can't trust ChatGPT all the time. Hello, wonderful humans. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to create a table that contains the name, the contact details, the LinkedIn profiles, and the associated organizations of experts in any field. We're going to see if those people are even real, if ChatGPT hallucinated, or if the details are even accurate. We'll then take this information from ChatGPT and bring it into Notion so that you can share it with your collaborators more widely. This video is part of a series on how to capture, organize, distill, and express information using AI and Notion. I call this AI enhanced version of your second brain, your augmented second brain. To find out more, check out the comment section below to find the template. Now let's get into ChatGPT. Okay, so here we are in ChatGPT. I'm gonna assume that you already know how to log in and create an account. We wanna ask ChatGPT to create a markdown table of experts in the field of, and you can put whatever field you want in here. For me, I'm gonna put learning sciences just because that's a field that I know I'm curious to see if there are experts that I might notice in this list and I can say whether or not these people's contact details might even be the right contact details. I may have some of them. You can go and change that for anything that you want. Really just put a field that is relevant to your work. So create a markdown table of experts in the field of learning science. We'll stop. The table should include columns. I'm going to put some columns here for their name, contact details, LinkedIn profile, and associated organization. But if you want to add extra fields, you can. Cool. Let's try that out. As you can see, ChatGPT has already produced a markdown table for me with rows and columns. We have Dr. Braw Saxberg, Dr. Pooja Agrawal, Dr. Barbara Oakley. Barbara Oakley, I do know. Oakland University. Okay. Dr. Megan... S Okay, great. Let's just see if these humans are real humans. These emails seem to be legitimate, but let's find out because some of these have are just their, their name.com. So we have to assume that they have made a personal website with some information about themselves. Okay, cool. So let's just try out Dr. Barbara Oakley because she is known in the field and click her LinkedIn profile. Great. This is a real human. There's a LinkedIn profile. My friend Ron Williams is a mutual connection. And here she is on her, so her famous course, learning how to learn. So she is a learning scientist, is a real human, and somehow ChatGPT has got all of her contact information. So let's just test this, that this part of her email is actually a personal website. Maybe the email is even on the website. I can't find the email immediately on her, her website using command F, right? So somehow ChatGPT has managed to find her personal information, not via the her personal website, but by some other method, perhaps on LinkedIn or something. Let's just test another one, right? So is there anyone that I know here? Dr. Richard Mayer, William, Dr. Lyndon Nielsen. Let's try Lyndon Nielsen. So Lyndon Nielsen has a real LinkedIn profile. Oh, that page doesn't exist. Okay, so... We can't trust ChatGPT all the time. That's kind of obscure LinkedIn profile anyway. Let's, let's try out, who's this? Daniel Willingham. Daniel Willingham is a real person. Counsel at REA Investments, LLC. So Daniel Willingham doesn't look like a learning scientist. He looks like he's an attorney. So we have to just be mindful that ChatGPT is going to hallucinate and add random people to these lists who are not learning scientists or whatever the domain is that we've searched for, right? So let's try like one more, Dr. Pooja Agrawal. Okay, the, the LinkedIn page doesn't work, but sh she's associated with retrievalpractice.org. So let's just check that website out. Unleash the science of learning. Right. So this person is a learning scientist of some sort. We don't have a LinkedIn profile. Maybe LinkedIn just hallucinated that as a potential LinkedIn profile. Notice that it didn't give any empty ones. It just gave profiles. And we can't assume that this email is real or correct. But let's try this email domain. 
So Dr. Agrawal is actually a real human with a real website. You can email her. And uh, there's that same same site, the Science of Learning that we were visited before, retrievalpractice.org. Okay, so if we wanted, we could ask further questions in ChatGPT about these experts. And we may be able to just to say like, it could generate more experts. In Notion, I've created a new resource in my resources database, and I'm going to copy and paste that markdown table into Notion, just so I have it saved somewhere. Back over to ChatGPT, we can copy and paste this. We can go back to Notion and paste it in there. Great. Yeah, the information isn't completely accurate, but I can start to use this as at least a starting point for people that I might want to research in a specific field. Just for a bit of fun and as a bit of an experiment. So let's try a list for something else. Let's try something for the field of personal knowledge management. Let's see what comes up. Create a markdown table of experts in the field of personal knowledge management or PKM. The experts should have mentions of their name associated with the phrase build a second brain or second brain. The table should include columns for their name, contact details, LinkedIn profile, and associated organization, and YouTube channel. Let's see where, we, where this goes. Tiago Forte right there at the top. Great. I'm not sure who that is, the second one. Praxis Flow, interesting. Connor is there. Anne is there. Nick Milo, Dave Perel. This is pretty good. You gotta give it to ChatGPT. That's a fairly accurate list of people who are loosely associated with building a second brain. It's a shame I'm not on that list, but that's pretty damn good. Cool, and there you have it. It's pretty wild what you can pull off with ChatGPT. It's not that accurate. It has its limitations. Just bear that in mind. But it's a really great starting place, especially if you're starting out on a new field or a subject, or especially if you want to try and find obscure contact details very, very quickly. This is something that we had to pay hundreds of dollars for to have software that would go and scrape email contacts for you. If you know someone who would benefit from this video, share it with them, like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell to stay updated for when I post new videos. And as always, Stay hydrated, love your family, and stay out of trouble. Thanks for watching.